What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So I'm gonna check out long-term booking by the homie uh promo Joe, but it's on his secondary page, promo Joey man. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe to it or whatnot. Shout out to the homie promo Joe. He dropped a video on his secondary uh page. So I'm gonna link the original video uh, down below in the description. Go give his secondary page a subscription, promo Joey. That's the YouTube. Appreciate the homie for always uh you know showing love, putting me in these videos or whatnot. Uh no, I, I always appreciate it. It's dope, his content is hilarious but we're gonna get right into this one man and uh let's check this bad boy out sammy guerrero here with a touching tribute to y2j what but never mind it's guevara folks <laughs> would you look at this straight out of wrestlemania 19 yep yep the very wrestlemania where out of the goodness of my heart put over hulk hogan <laughs> Hold on. Are they trying to imply that Sammy Guerrero slash Guevara is the next Chris Jericho? Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. Eat my ass. <laughs> is this skeevy stoner still wrestling? <laughs> Jesus. He's now working matches with Taz Child. I hope he doesn't ask him to pick a hand. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, classic mid 90s WWF. Some of my finest work. Why the hell are they doing more Bret Hart tributes, though? I thought they just fired his biggest fan, and there would be no more masturbatory tributes. <laughs> all right, I see. They're all just a bunch of fucking Bret Hart marks. <laughs> Bret Hart marks. That is what I go for. It's all about. It's all about. Bro, <laughs> so funny how so much of this, this is just... Stuff we've seen in the past being redone in the present. That's that's funny, man. <laughs> okay, these guys are doing the same move, but I've no clue what these shows are. And why is Daniel Bryan wrestling in a school gymnasium? <laughs> this was a nice tribute to Bray Wyatt, but mm -hmm. Keith Lee needs to bring back his tennis skirt. Run. <laughs> Rest in peace, Bray, man. Uh, remind to me, we need to rehire Joe. I need a commentator and a poncho. <laughs> oh look another gymnasium matchup and a lovely call back to it i'm sure the three 40 year old virgins at home are going to love that reference <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> this is funny, i'm sure the three the hell 40 year old virgins go oh i remember that i remember that Wait, is that Prince Nana? Okay, that's some good shit. <laughs> I tell you what, if Pepsi Phil thinks he's coming back to the WWE <laughs> to rehash bullshit like this, he's got another thing coming. <laughs> hey, it's Poncho Joe again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you happy now, virgins? You got a nice little callback. Now go cook yourself a microwave pizza. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I get it. He's wearing green and the other is wearing yellow. This story is so deep, brother. <laughs> Here we go. Book one of your biggest shows of the year around the fact that Poncho Joe shoved an extra on one of my developmental shows. <laughs> when you break it down like that, that's it's that's basically what it was. It's, it was literally a feud built off of a NXT um incident that happened in, in their developmental company in WWE and they built a main event feud from it which is it was still entertaining but nevertheless that's basically what it was that is some of the best long term booking I've ever seen that's some long term booking bro let Fact. me get it through your thick fat skull this was with great some too. simple math See, normally, See, if you normally go one-on-one one 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 with another, another wrestler, you got a 50-50 chance, chance, chance of winning. But I'm a genetic <laughs> freak, and I'm not normal. She got a 25% chance at best and to and beat me. This was, this was fantastic by MJ, yo. <laughs> this was so good. Then you add my boy Cole watching my back to the mix, your chances of winning drastically go down. See, at our match at Grand Slam, you got a 33 and one-third chance of winning, but I got a 66 and two-third chance of winning because everyone in New York knows you can't beat me. So Samoa Joe, you take your 33 and one-third chance minus my 25% chance, you got a 
have eight in one third like chance of winning a Grand Slam. Kid. But then you take my like 75% chance of winning since we're wrestling in my home state of New York, and then you add 66 and two third percent chance. I got a 141 and two third percent chance of winning at Grand Slam. See, Joe, the numbers don't lie. And then you still disagree. Yeah, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry.